Welcome, guys. We're doing an episode on sustainable fashion, and we've got Julia joining. Hey, sorry. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm God. back for real this time. <laughs> I love that chair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is my designated office chair. I, it's it's like the egg chair of my dreams. I love it. It's all furry <laughs> and comfy. <laughs> and I can swing around in it. <laughs> Seriously, there's something about egg chairs that are actually magical. So I'm glad you yes. see that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm super excited. And for everyone that's joining right now, this is Julia. So Julia is the founder of A Curated Thrift. And so about six years ago, you got a degree in fashion design. And then you really fell in love with the more sustainable manufacturing process, as far as I understand. And I'm really excited to have you here because you launched what we call a curated thrift. And I'm actually wearing one of the designs that you- I know, it looks out. awesome on you. I love it. It looks so chic. I've had so much fun. I'm just like- I know. <laughs> shaking my shoulders all day. And I, I was super excited to have you on because I think that you know, parents, um, this is like the perfect opportunity for them to figure out ways to one, reduce emissions in the environment, but two, like buying outfits for babies that change size every two and a half months can be really fiscally challenging. So yeah, I, absolutely. I would love to hear a little bit about, you know, your journey to get started. And then we'll talk a little bit more about what you offer with the Curated Thrift. Yeah. Um, so my journey, I mean, I've been thrifting all my life. I've been thrifting since I was 12 years old. And I saw that a supermodel um, got her favorite vintage 70s t-shirt from a thrift store. And I was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. I'm going to go try and go to the thrift store too. And um, so that was like my first kind of trip. And then since then, I've been hooked. And I have loved fashion from an early age. I went to um, and majored in fashion design at the International Academy of Design and finished up my degree um, out in Los Angeles and took out a couple of internships there and um, really worked in the fashion industry ever since. And I've been a buyer, I've been in advertising, I've been in marketing. And I kind of looked, I got a chance to look at it from all different angles and all different sides. And it wasn't until around 2015 that I made the switch from fast fashion to conscious buying. And it really kind of changed my world around um, how I view fashion and really kind of like the toxic element of um, all kinds of fast fashion um, that was happening and that has been happening. So um, fast forward, I um, <clears throat> had my first child about three years ago. He's a little boy, his name's Colton. Oh, congrats. Thanks. And um, he was sort of the catalyst for what started this whole thing. I, since I've, I was thrifting regularly, I had actually developed a capsule wardrobe around thrifting. And uh, ever since having him, I noticed that like I couldn't go to the thrift store all the time and I was really missing it. And I would get all these uh, requests from my coworkers. Can you find this? Can you find that? And um, I was also dabbling in the subscription box space with um, HelloFresh and um, Rent the Runway. And yeah. then realizing, man, I can marry these two together, a subscription box and thrift store clothing, and give um, a sense of style to maybe somebody that is completing their PhD and doesn't have time to go shopping for themselves, or a mom that um, definitely needs to... Uh, maybe revamp her wardrobe um, after being pregnant. And so that's what spawned this idea. And I've been going at it ever since 2019. So, wow. Like, honestly, you inspired me so much because, first of all, I was like so happy to know you're like a mom founder. You're also from Clearwater, Florida. So, shout out to the 727. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that this is such an amazing marriage, like you said, of one, like, you know, cost effectiveness and time effectiveness. Because, yeah. like, if you're a new parent running around, like, you really don't have a ton of time to necessarily, like, go shopping. And, you know, we addressed, like, how quickly your baby changes size. Right. And so right. it can be so, like exciting like I know yesterday my curated thrift bag just arrived 
And it was so awesome because for everybody that's joining right now, um, Julia launched a company. So it's called the Curated Thrift. And you pick out hand curated sustainable fashion based on like a quick um, style assessment that you do on your site. Yep. And so Julia even looked at my Pinterest board <laughs> to, to actually Which is see, super cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to actually see like what I would be interested in. And it was so awesome because one, I know that like I'm not contributing to the 1.7 billion tons of emissions that the fashion industry emits every single year. Like I was trying to conceptualize that number, Julia, and I'm like, there's not even enough whales that exist for us to say, like, that's how many whales it is. Like, yeah. carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, there, there's a lot of um, human labor issues as well. And, like, fashion manufacturing. So I just think, like, right. your model, like, hits the triple bottom line in so many ways in terms of being a conscious shopper. And um, I love that you like can bring that excitement of, you know, feeling fresh and giving new life to a piece and, and yeah, like bring it immediately to your door. <laughs> yes. And it's fun because secondhand, there's a lot of vintage out there and that's what we like to incorporate too. Um, there's other people doing the same thing, but I think that marrying like a vintage or maybe like something that has I mean, I find stuff that is new, brand new, tags still on it, and it's crazy what gets thrown away. I know. And uh, like the other day, I found a Versace sweatshirt at Goodwill for like three dollars, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I mean, it's astounding. So um, I think that th this is the future. We need to recycle fashion, and um, when it, there's such a like large percentage, like eight percent, I think it's like gas house emissions, just account for the like um, fashion world as a whole. It, yeah. it totally makes sense, really. And so, um, yeah, what we do is we um, uh, when you go to our website. We have a section on there where you can subscribe. You choose your box. We have three different options. Um, we have a deluxe box, which sends out four pieces, a thrift box, which sends out two pieces, and then a vintage box, which sends out a really unique, one-of-a-kind vintage piece. And you can add on your child for like ten dollars and we'll add on um your child you could add on your husband you could add on anybody that lives with you in the house you could buy it for as a gift um so we offer that as well and um so when you click on one of those box types it'll take you immediately into our style survey so we ask you what size you are um how you like your clothes to fit if you have like a pinterest board or instagram handle um, and, and we also ask you also, um, you know, what kind of styles that you like, we offer right currently 12 different styles. So you could, we, you could choose from seventies boho, you could choose from, um, academia, cottage core. And that's, what's really fun about a curated thrift is that we have all these fun little niche, um, um, styles that have, we're always staying on top of the trends. We're always keeping up with what is in style. And, and so that, I think that's what sets us apart from the other subscription box companies. Absolutely. Like the personalization and the level of detail, like I literally have my personal stylist, like picking yeah. out exactly what I love and I feel good about it because I know that it is really eco-conscious. I know that I'm being efficient um, with my capital, you know, like running a startup. So, um, and like I had some awesome fresh pieces, like a pink blazer I've always wanted and I have never gotten. And oh, you're nice. totally right. Like a good percentage of what you sent me still had tag on. Like there was a New York, New York dress or New York company dress that was like $200. Yeah. So um, it's, it's just really, it's a really nice way to like, yeah, dress your family without even like going out to the store. And I mean, occasionally that can be really fun, but I just enjoyed getting the notification that my shipment was here and trying everything on and then trying to make a reel today, which <laughs> yes. that, was, that was my first time doing that. It was good. I like it. <laughs> I haven't um, made one myself, so I, I still have to. Well, also like, 
you know, like the amount of it, going back to like how much emissions the passenger industry puts out, like it's actually more than international flights and shipping combined. And so yeah. like, I don't say this to like guilt anybody for buying a new piece of clothing, but just to bring awareness to the fact that there are so many pieces that have like never been touched or used that you can find um, secondhand and repurpose and give new life to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and uh, we contact everybody that signs up and to kind of get a feel of what their um, specific style is because everyone's different and everyone fits different. We even ask you your measurements to get your exact measurement type, um, bust waist hip. And so w we know that it's going to fit you, you're going to love it, and it's going to stay in your wardrobe for a long time. And that's what counts. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, I'm super fascinated and just inspired by your journey as a mom and a founder. And so can you give us a little bit of insight just in terms of like how you balance that, like having a newborn and like how you really went from zero to one? Yeah. So um, in the beginning, he was six months old when I first started. So it was, um, he was still a little baby. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been this, this long. And it feels like just yesterday. But um, yeah, I, I was lucky enough to quit the job that I had um, when I was uh, pregnant and go into this full force. But I came out of being a project manager and that's what, what my job was full time. So I kind of worked that into my advantage and I was good at making spreadsheets and lists and goal, goals, reaching them and on a time table. And so I felt like that's what benefited me in the, in the forefront in the very beginning. But then also I had this like mentality where I didn't know how to start a subscription box. I didn't know like how, where to go for a website or anything like that. So it was just a learning process and it, uh, it was more of less just succumbing to um, wanting to learn more and just to, to dive into it. And even though yeah. I had quit my job, having a six month old is like a full time job. Yeah, so, <laughs> all our viewers was, can definitely attest yeah. to that. Yeah, <laughs> so it was like a little bits of time I would get here and there. I would work on the um, on developing the box, and um, you know when he was taking a nap or when he was, I was up at like two in the morning because I was used to being up. Um, you know, little time pockets that I would allow myself to just like gravitate it towards it. And then um, I wasn't afraid to like blow up really quickly. I, I took my time with things and, and really wanted to make sure that I got every single box right. And I didn't, knowing that I was also um, a working mom and also trying to um, raise this beautiful baby boy at the same time, just really, um, I guess giving myself grace through the period of all of it. Yeah. And hey, if I didn't get to this, this, and this, it's okay. Um, we can start again tomorrow. And just allowing myself to give that grace and not pushing myself too hard. And yeah. just taking it day by day. That is actually such beautiful advice. Like, you know, whether you're joining us right now and, you know, you're a mom or whether you're also a founder. And I think that that little tidbit of information I can even like take away because sometimes you know like you said your skill set was project management and really like setting time bound goals and so sometimes I find as well that I'm like oh my god I just feel like I'm living in this like moderate level of anxiety I'm like oh wait but I'm the one that said that I have to have the new site launched and pre-orders up you know by like March 31st and so actually just giving yourself a little time to step back I think is like super helpful and and allow yourself to grow um and mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, give me all your tips. Because if you did that with a six month old and you launched a company, I need to know more. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, it just like it caught me off guard because also one of my tips is to always plan for your successes. Yeah. I had never owned a business. I'd never owned a business in my entire life. And I always like when I started it, I kind of didn't um, realize how big it really could get. Um, and I was 
um, kind of shocked at how it, it skyrocketed from zero to like almost, you know, a couple hundred overnight in the span of like two, three months. Yeah. And so here I am at one year's at my one year old par birthday party, like feverishly packaging up boxes like the night before <laughs> his birthday. And as well as like, I've got all his decorations spread out like around the couch but it i mean you've got to love what you do you got to be passionate about what you're doing in order to just embrace all of the chaos embrace all of the busyness and really just go get it and um really seize the day so absolutely and you're killing it because we have some viewers joining z dropped in and she's like i'm honestly in love with your work and you're doing a great job she really loved her box and Aww. so <laughs> nice all, thanks <laughs> all that hard work is truly paying off and i'm so excited too to have our audience who are mostly moms um have this sent to them and like thank you so much because everybody that's popping in today and joining if you're a part of our newsletter outreach we're going to package this episode up send it out with our discount code and Julie is actually giving everyone 20% off their first subscription, as well as you want to talk a little bit about the charity that you're donating to? Yeah, um, the organization's called handup.org. And they're a national organization here in the US where um, they help aid um, homelessness all across the United States. Um, they work in um, poor cities um, like Detroit and Oakland and um, they work in a, like a number of different cities and they work to provide educational services. They clothe them, they provide shelter, they provide food. And they did an amazing COVID relief campaign um, at the at the middle of 2020. And that's what gravitated um, Deanna and I. I t teamed up with Deanna May and she's from um, Sunny D. Um, underscore that's her Instagram handle and okay. we had been partners for a little while and we came together when the whole pandemic broke out and we're like let's get together and donate to a charity every month and um, we kind of developed um, this program where you use the um, promo code sunny d every time you use it we pledge to donate ten dollars to an, a charity organization and we fell in love with this organization hand up that work yeah. because they had an amazing covid relief where they provide um supplies for um the first line um people the uh, nurses and um the doctors and staff that were working um they also provided um, additional um, COVID relief for people that were displaced and uh, newly homeless because of the pandemic. Yeah. And um, it was amazing. We were able to reach their goal of $6 million that they had raised. So it was awesome. And, that is so um, important. Yeah. And um, so they still work in um, local communities all across the United States. Um, uh, with um, helping the homeless and, and um, helping them find a home. So that is so beautiful, Julia. Like I really love, like you've really taken like the Tom's model and like married it with subscription boxes and just made eco-conscious fashion so effortless. So I'm really like we have so many fans popping in. I just wanted to let you know. Another one said she had no idea your little one was so little when you got started. You go, girl. And she's very happy to be a subscriber. Another one says she's really glad your business is doing well and she's really loving her mommy boxes. So you're making such an impact. And, you know, it feels good as well that you're um, able to provide relief via like a very trackable donation and um, that I know that PPE during like when COVID first hit was a huge issue. So I love to see that hands up was actually making a difference in terms of getting it to the front lines of care. And especially with, you know, the amount of homelessness that has occurred from this pandemic, like to be able to have a warm coat. I know like it's in the United States, but in like the North, can you imagine like being displaced yep. like in oh. the middle of winter? So I know. I, it's really, really beautiful and inspiring what you're doing. And I feel so much better about 
wearing my new outfit today. I've literally been like <laughs> flouncing around the house. <laughs> my boyfriend gorgeous. came home and he's like, what are you doing in here? Like, you're having a really good time. It makes me want to dance, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I really, like, every piece you picked out, I just feel special in. And, like, oh, I good. do want to dance around. Good. So um, I'm super excited to, you know, share a little bit of our um, talk today. Um, we'll package this up as a YouTube and a podcast. We'll send it out in the newsletter in, like, the next two weeks. And we'll make sure that all of our audience gets a hold of that 20% off code. So if you guys just dropped in, the way you can get subscribed to our newsletter is just go to the naturalnipple.com and you'll get a little pop up to join our community and just enter your email right there. And you won't get bombarded with anything that's like not useful. We'll just send you some updates because we are actually going to be launching our pre-orders come the end of March. That was the deadline I said I like made for myself. And um, just a little bit of background just for everyone who's joined. So I'm Lauren, I'm the founder of The Natural Nipple. It's my goal just to make parenting easier by creating seamless, stress-free bottle and breastfeeding. So the natural nipple was actually designed after 3D scanning real moms and collecting real milk flow rates. And um, it's a subscription model solution as well. So you take a latch match survey, you get sent a nipple that's actually modeled after your unique geometry. And then you get sent an updated flow rate to meet your baby's growing feeding demands and make breastfeeding easier. That is awesome because I personally struggled with breastfeeding a little bit. So I wish I had this when yeah. I, like a couple years ago. So I could definitely attest to uh, just being patient and the struggles with breastfeeding and um, uh, breastfeeding my child. So I think it's amazing what you're doing as well. Thank you so much. It's really exciting. Like just the last month because we're finally, you know, building a product takes quite some time like longer than I thought and now oh, that we're actually able to get it in the hands of real moms and babies and get their feedback like um one of our users was like I actually had my first adult drink for the first time in seven months because my baby wouldn't take a bottle before but I can put my pumped milk in the natural nipple and my mom can take care of her and it's just like regaining that autonomy and like a little bit of freedom and knowing that you're nourishing your baby in the best way and you can switch back and forth without there being any latching frustration and like I'm just super super excited for this and that's awesome yeah and so to another Tampa Bay Area founder I'm just excited to see what you're doing and where you're gonna go and I truly hope that, you know, sharing today's episode and getting the word out about you um, will make all the difference.